My name is Jan Nelson. I have been a member of Bethlehem for 10 years. God has always been an important part of my life's journey. My dad was transferred every few years in the early part of his career, and I lived in five cities and three states by the time I reached age 11. We settled in Green Bay where I started sixth grade, and the four of us kids all finished high school there. The Lutheran Church was always an important part of our upbringing, including attending worship services, Sunday school, Luther League outings, and confirmation. Each time we moved to a new city, joining a new congregation meant establishing new friendships, and it provided new opportunities to learn and serve. During my college years at the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire, I continued to be active in my University Lutheran Church congregation. Upon graduation from college, I started my 34-year career at Wausau Insurance, which later merged with Liberty Mutual. I relocated eight times during my career in human resources until my retirement in 2011. In each new city, it was a top priority for me to join a church to meet new friends and connect with people other than those that I worked with. God gave me strength and courage to accept these new opportunities in locations far away from family and friends. And as a result, I have cherished lifelong friendships from coast to coast. In my younger years, I had always hoped to be married and have a family of my own. As the years went by and I continued to move to new locations, God showed me that a single life can still be meaningful, enriching, and full of loving relationships. My three siblings have blessed me with six nieces and nephews in Texas and Minnesota, and I now have great nieces and nephews to shower with love. My last location before retirement was in Tampa, Florida. I worked very long hours in a stressful job and had very little time for anything other than work. When I was eligible to retire at age 55, I chose to do so and was anxious to move back to Minnesota. I purchased a home six blocks from my aging parents and began my new life as a caregiver. My folks were in their early 80s when I retired and began spending afternoons with them, helping dad with projects and mom with gardening and cooking. Mom is now 93 and dad is 92. In recent years, they have needed me more, and I am with them from mid-morning to early evening. Dad's health started deteriorating two years ago, and his mobility and balance are affected. Mom has been dealing with dementia for several years and needs considerable help with bathing, toileting, and other gentle reminders. I prepare lunch and dinner each day and do the grocery shopping and laundry. While Dad continues to manage their medication refills online, I fill their weekly pillboxes and make sure they take their medications each day. What have I learned during these 10 plus years in caring for my folks? I learned to cook. I worked long hours during my career and I lived alone. I ate mostly frozen dinners and light snacks when I got home late from work. In spending time with my folks after retiring, Mom provided advice on meal preparation and favorite recipes ranging from potato salad to homemade pie crusts. Dad taught me the best way to make grilled cheese sandwiches and French toast by putting the butter directly on the pan. They both taught me to make lefse. Mom has always loved vegetables and Dad loves fruit, so I try to ensure that we have plenty of both for our lunches and dinners. Thanks to mom and dad and the time that we spend together, I now provide full balanced meals. I cherish the handwritten favorite recipes in mom's cookbook. Many times she will ask for the recipes of dishes even though she doesn't remember that they're from her own cookbook in her own handwriting. Even though I don't have a green thumb, I learned about gardening from mom, taking care of flowers, roses, lilies, irises, and how to keep geraniums over winter. I learned so much from mom about gardening, and now I need to remind her of the names of the flowers that she planted and cared for, as she can no longer remember. Dad has always been my go-to person for anything mechanical or financial. 
His advice is sound, practical, smart, and well-received. He can fix just about anything, and my siblings and I still call on him for advice about cars, homeowner issues, and general life issues. Thankfully, I can still count on his advice and guidance, even though his physical body is slowing down. I truly feel that God's role for me on this earth is to be a caregiver for my parents and for other loved ones who are experiencing health issues and are in need of support and prayer. There are certainly times when I lose my patience and anger and frustration can surface, but it's in those times when I ask God to help and guide me. I know He hears me because it doesn't take long for me to calm down and realize, realize how fortunate I am to still have my parents with me in these retirement years. I am so very thankful for my three siblings in Texas, Bemidji, and Big Lake. Although none of them live in the St. Cloud area, we reach out to one another with love and support. They are my sounding board, especially during emotionally difficult times, and they give me comfort, guidance, and peace. I have been so grateful to my church family and neighbors who have helped me navigate the life issues involving dementia. They have shared their own experiences with loved ones and have helped me to understand the commonalities with caring for loved ones with dementia. I know that I am not alone in dealing with these things and I am so thankful for their support and guidance. I have grown as a person both emotionally and spiritually in both the quiet times that we spend together and during the more difficult times when mom's days and nights are mixed up and she wants to go home to her childhood home in Badger, Minnesota, or she wants to take a rose bush to her mom. There's no easy way to explain to mom that she's currently in her own home and that all of her special possessions surround her and that her parents are in their heavenly home. Dad has a calming influence during these times, and I am so thankful that together we can be there for mom. Caregiver, caregiving is hard, and yet I cherish this time that we have together. To hear my folks say the Lord's Prayer every night while holding hands after almost 70 years of marriage gives me a sense of peace and thankfulness. I know that God will take them home to heaven in the not too distant future, so I want to be sure their days are full of joy and happiness. My faith gives me strength and courage to meet the challenges of caregiving. I thank God many times each day for this cherished time with my parents. For this, I am grateful, and I'm happy to share my story.